Today we're going to show you how to restring your RV blind. So most of you out there probably have blinds similar to this. If you don't, you probably have the roll-up blinds, but many of the RVs today have these particular blinds that are stringed just like this. And they are supposed to work just like this. This is the blind on the other side of our slide where you can see the string is broken. And that's what happens. These do not operate at all now and they have to be restrung completely. So let's show you how to do that. Before we can remove the blind, we're gonna first have to remove this trim. To remove the trim, you're gonna need one of these. This is a number two square bit. You can buy this at your local hardware store and it is necessary for most RV fasteners. Our vertical trim pieces actually have two screws up here and one down here. For our top trim piece, we have two L brackets, one on each side. We're only going to remove this screw that goes through the L bracket and is connected to the top trim piece. We'll leave the other screw in place for when we reinstall the trim. Then the trim piece just comes right off. Now we'll remove the two screws at the top of the blind. After those are loosened up, the blind comes right off. The blind string will still be attached to the blind and fastened to the wall unless yours is broken completely like ours. But this side is still attached, so we're going to remove this screw and the spindle. Next you want to find a flat workplace to do the work and you're going to need a few tools. We use this tiny precision screwdriver flathead and a larger flathead screwdriver as well and this pair of needle nose pliers. You will also need to purchase some lift cord. We purchased this lift cord on Amazon and I'll put a link in the description below. First step is to remove this bottom rail. And we're gonna do that by using the flathead screwdriver and prying right here to get this plastic end piece off. Do the same for the other side. And now we can slide this bottom piece off just like that. Next, we'll want to take the top trim piece off in the same manner. Take note in how this goes back together. There is a specific way that this has to go back in. In ours, it has these top two pieces that fit in in the very top of the track. Now that both track pieces are off, you can see how the string is ran. It is connected at the very top on this spring and the spring is off center right now. Typically this spring should be right in the center of the track. The string then runs from the spring down through and to the bottom and it does not go to the same side. It goes to the opposite side of the bottom track. And this side string does the same, runs down here and over to the opposite side of the bottom track over here. In order to remove the string from the spring, you can just cut it, but you do want to note here there are two very tiny clips that they used, and we're going to reuse those. Uh, you could probably just tie a knot here. However, we are able to reuse these whenever we restring these blinds. So I'm going to use that tiny screwdriver, and I'm going to open up the clip. One clip goes one direction, and then the other clip goes the other direction. So I'm going to insert the screwdriver into the clip and just twist it. And then that opens up the clip and then it will come off. Then we're going to repeat for the other clip and then the string comes right out. Now that the spring is completely removed from the cords, we can pull the cords out. This one's broken, so it's going to come out just that easy. And then this side here, we're going to pull back down through and over to the bottom. Note how the string goes through this clip that was attached to the end of the track. We can pull that out. And we'll also note how the string goes through this spindle up and back through, and then they've tied a knot on the end here. We'll be repeating this for the new string. To run new cord, we want to have the blind pulled out as far as we possibly can. That way we make sure whenever we run this cord down and through, we'll have plenty of cord when we reinstall the blind. Let's start by threading the cord up through the bottom and then through 
each set of pleats and you can actually do multiple pleats at a time once you get good at this and here another trick is when I cut this cord previously it left some frayed ends so I'm gonna get a lighter and I'm gonna use that to heat the end up and that will melt the end to give it a nice solid end to thread up through and it keeps it from unraveling in the future as well you can see this has plastic in it where that see that plastic string that just came off I'm not sure if you could see that if the camera picked it up or not but that's why you can use a lighter in order to make that end more solid and keep that from unraveling and makes it a lot easier whenever you're restraining the blind it's much quicker to do multiple pleats at one time Up at the top here, we're gonna take the spring, we'll run the cord through and loop it over. And then just like they did at the factory, we'll use the clips and we'll secure this thread. If these little clips are not opened up quite enough, you can take your pair of pliers and grab the clip by the side like that and then use your precision screwdriver to open that clip up a little bit more to make it easier and we'll use a pair of pliers to clamp that clip back down. Easier said than done. You do have to have decent eyesight to do this and some dexterity as well and really probably a lot of patience. Like I said before it may be easier for someone to just tie a knot there but we like to use the clips. One clip goes one direction, the other clip goes the opposite direction. Again, we're gonna make sure this blind is completely extended. That way we make sure we have enough string to get down to the bottom here. And I'm actually gonna cut the string back and make sure it's extra long, just in case. It's better to have more string than not enough. Once both strings are attached to the spring at the top, you're going to center the spring and then pull down from the bottom to tighten up the string. You see we have the strings crisscrossed and now we're ready to put the tracks back in place. And we're gonna slide it. You probably wanna hold on to this string when you slide it. Make sure that doesn't go with it when you slide the track. All right, now that the track's in place, we're going to take the end clip and we're going to put the string through the hole. These clips do go in a certain direction, so you'll know when you start to put it into the metal piece whether it slides in easy. If it's really tough to slide in, you've got it going the wrong way. Now we'll slide the top track on. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get that started with the material. Now we can put the end caps on. See how those two tabs fit right in there? So here we're gonna go up through the hole and then back through the other hole. Then we'll make a knot and we can shorten this string if we need to once we get this back in place. We're going to install the spindles in the original holes and then we can adjust the string length from there. All right once you have the spindles reinstalled we're going to take the string and pull it and as you pull this side it's going to lift the opposite side so you can see how that lifts that opposite side. And we're going to do the same over here. Pull and lift. So we're going to get that pretty even just like that. That way we can see how the blind's going to work out. If your string's long enough, you can hold that like that. And then that way you can lift and see about the operation. Looks pretty good. That will need a little bit of adjustment after we 
cut these strings. All right, while I'm working on one side, I just wrap this around the spindle here just to keep that in place. That way I can work on this side. So I'm gonna cut the string and I gotta leave myself enough room to tie a knot. So I'm gonna pull that a little bit. Once we have both sides cut and tied off, we can do some adjustments by wrapping the string around the spool on both sides. So this string is pretty elastic and you'll be able to pull down on each side and wrap it around the spool and then give it a whirl, see how it works. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. All right guys, well, that's it. We got the blind back up and it's in great working order again. So hope this video helps you out. If it does, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions or comments, be happy to answer them. So leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video.